Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bound. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Enola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. Dwayne Johnson and family test positive for COVID-19. Ed Sheeran welcomes first child with wife. Details in just a little bit. Two and a half to three weeks now. So the update is this. Um, my wife Lauren, as well as my two baby girls, and myself, we have all tested positive for COVID-19. Hollywood actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson says he and his family had all contracted COVID-19. The former wrestler, who is now the world's highest paid actor, said he, his wife and two daughters caught the virus despite being disciplined about health protection. He said the positive tests were a kick in the gut and he added that they are now on the other end of it and no longer contagious. He however thank God that they are now healthy. Johnson and his family live in the US, which has recorded more than 6.1 million coronavirus cases and over 185,700 deaths linked to the disease. The actor, who is 48, said he and his wife Lorraine, 35, and their daughters Jasmine and Tiana, aged 4 and 2, contracted the virus about two and a half weeks ago. The American-Canadian actor said his daughters had exhibited mild symptoms, explaining they had a sore throat for a first couple of days, but other than that, they bounced back and it's been life as normal. Johnson said they caught the virus from very close family friends who in turn had no idea how they have been infected. Let's check out Dwayne Johnson's video. And I can tell you that this has been one of the most challenging and difficult things we have ever had to endure as a family. And um, and for me personally too as well. And, and, and I've gone through some doozies in the past. I've gotten knocked about and got my ass kicked a little bit in the past with some challenges, but, but testing positive for COVID-19 um, is much different than overcoming nasty injuries or, or, or or being evicted or even being broke, which I have been uh, more than a few times. Um, and the reason why I feel like this is different is, is because my number one priority is to always protect my family and protect my children, my loved ones. By the way, I know I speak for all of you guys. It is our number one priority. All of you guys around the world, you always want to protect your family and your babies. Um, so, and I wish it was only me who tested positive. Um, but it wasn't, it was my entire family. So this one was a real kick in the gut, but I am happy to tell you guys that we as a family are good. We are on the other end of it. We're on the other side. We are no longer contagious and we are thank you, as a family are good. We are on the other end of it. We're on the other side. We are no longer contagious and we are, thank God we are healthy and we've gotten through COVID-19 stronger and healthier. And, you know, believe me, I am counting my blessings because like all of us, we all uh, have, we all have been hit by this thing. Um, whether it is people we know, family we know, loved ones we know, friends we know. Um, so we are counting our blessings right now because we're well aware that it isn't always the case that you get on the other end of uh, COVID-19 stronger and healthier. Um, I have had some of my best friends have lost their parents, their loved ones, uh, to this virus that is, that is so incredibly relentless and unforgiving and it is insidious. We are counting our blessings, um, but we are good. And, you know, I, I gotta tell you, you know, some of the silver linings out of this, and I'm always trying to look for silver linings when challenges come my way is, um, Generally, uh, babies and little children um, can often have little to no symptoms at all. So for our babies, Jazzy and Tia, it was, um, they had a little sore throat uh, the first couple of days, but other than that, they bounced back and and they, uh, it, it's been life as normal. Uh, happy babies running around and playing, uh, but we have isolated ourselves as a family. It's what we had to do. But Lauren and I, it was a little bit different. While advising fans, Dwayne Johnson suggested several ways his fans could mitigate the risk of coronavirus. He said this include leading a healthy lifestyle and wearing a face mask. We're glad that Dwayne Johnson and her family are now fine. Away from that story to yet another story on the international scene. <laughs> 
Hi, wonderful people. My name is Amyola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Amyola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. Musician Ed Sheeran has announced the birth of his first child with his wife, Cherry Seaborn. The couple's beautiful and healthy daughter, Lyra Antarctica Seaborn Sharon, was born last week. Ed Sheeran announced this on Instagram. He says, we are completely in love with her. Both mom and baby are doing amazing and we are on cloud nine over here. He further added, we hope that you can respect our privacy at this time. Lots of love. I will see you when it's time to come back. Ed X. Sharon and his wife Seaborn first met at school when Sharon was 11. They reconnected again in summer of 2015 and began dating. Ed Sheeran proposed to his wife in December 2017 and the pair married in January 2019. Last year, the couple appeared in their first music video together for the single Put It All On Me, where they were seen in their London apartment dancing and cuddling for the camera. Sharon's most selling album, Number no. 6 Collaborations Project, was released in 2019 to much success, becoming the second fastest selling album in 2019, according to the official UK charts company. In August 2019, Sharon announced that he would be taking a break from playing gigs after being on tour since 2017. Well, Sharon is now a father. I will say congratulations to him and his wife. And that's it on trending today. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV before you go. See you soon.